Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my second Discord help video. Um, this time we're going to be talking about Pokemon catching and Kakara, the currency in the marriage bot. Now we're going to start with Kakara. Um, I'll look at this real quick. Um, dollar sign to you. Here it is. I have 688 Kakara. And I just used my daily Kakara, my DK. And that will be set in 9 hours and 50 minutes. Now if you want to look at the Kakara based stats, we're going to have to do dollar sign Kakara. Or you can reduce that down to dollar sign K. And it'll give you the same thing. Now here we have a big list of things. Um, so we'll start from the top to make it less um, scary. How to collect Kakara in the server, change the options with Kakara Kakara. But yeah, this is how you guys are going to be able to get Kakara. And it'll explain later what you can do with it to enhance your experience. So first off, daily Kakara. I showed you guys that earlier. This is DOS and DK. Um, for me, since I'm subscribed on Patreon, um, mine resets every 10 hours, and everyone else's resets every 20 hours. Um, react on the Kakra that could appear on some already claimed roles. So what that means is I'll just pull up a character that I have. Here we have Claude. Um, if I did a dollar sign M roll for dollar sign Mary, and Claude came up, it would show up as, you know, Claude belongs to Tummy Licker, and under this, instead of these, um, and instead of a normal, like, heart to Mary, there'll be a Kakara, and it'll, here, I'll show you on profile, there are different colors um, that give different levels of increasing amount of Kakara, so, you know, the the cooler the shade I think the the less the less cockery you're gonna get from it um, and then later on as your character that's already claimed appears more in the bot then this cocker amount will go up um, to eventually I think it's like rainbow and you can get like up to like a thousand plus um, cocker at a time which is pretty insane but yeah that's what they look like you can also do um, that I believe yes um, that's what a cockroach looks like um, yeah it doesn't do anything but that's just yeah. that's just what a cockroach looks like in case you need to make sure you know for when they show up it looks like this little gem thing so yeah you can get it from daily cockroach or from reacting on a character that um, has already been claimed um, now there is a timer on this, so right here you can see you can't react before 50 minutes, which means that you don't have enough power to um, react to a cockroach yet, and you have to wait some time before your power comes back, and you have enough power to react to more cockroach and get more cockroach. Um, now it says each cockroach reaction consumes 90% of your reaction power. Um, after a while, after you get enough Kakara and increase these badges, which I'll talk to you about in a second, um, this 90% will go down a lot, and this 90% is very steep at the beginning. It really sucks, because um, you'll have to wait a long amount of time before you can react again. But moving on, the thing that I've done the most so far in terms of getting Kakara is divorcing a character. Um, now, if you roll a bunch of characters and you're claim reset or your claim is about to reset and you have a claim and you don't really like any of the characters I recommend claiming any of the characters anyway like don't waste your claim claim one of the characters even if you don't like it and divorce that character because if you divorce that character um, they can give you Kakara for instance I will show you that when you look up a character let's say Korra Korra's Kakara value is 191. So if I got Korra 
and I didn't want her anymore, I wanted to divorce her, I would go ahead and do dollar sign divorce and then space and then her name. Um, obviously I don't have her, I'm not married to this person, so that doesn't matter. But it would say, would you like to confirm this? And you would press Y and then that you would get rid of that character and you would get Kakura for that. So you can do daily Kakura, react on characters that are already claimed, you can divorce a character for Kakura, and you can trade with other players. Now, for the most part, there aren't really many people in my server that actually do the marriage bot. Um, and I haven't really done any trading. I don't know why you would do like specific number trading. Um, it makes more sense to do the give function. So give Kakura. And I'll show you that. Um, you can also just do give K. You don't have to spell Kakura out. You can use K for all the things like daily Kakura. You don't have to do, you don't have to type out daily Kakura. You can just do DK. Um, and same with, same with Kakura. You can just put K. You don't need to spell out Kakura. Now I'll show that in just a sec. Um, I have my old Discord account that I can access on my phone and I'll show you how this works. So let's see, my old Discord account has 626 Kakura. So I can go ahead and use dollar sign give K and then I'll use the at symbol at me tummy liquor 73 and then enter in the amount that I have 626. So it looks like this. So if you're wanting to give someone Kakura, you do this. Dollar sign give K, at the person, space, and then add the number you want to give to them. And then you press Y to confirm. And then I just got it. I was just gifted 626 Kakura. I can look at it. Dollar sign K. Now I have 1,314 Kakura. Now here's the real meat and potatoes of why Kakura is important. Um, badges. Badges are very, very important. Um, later on when you get a bunch of Kakura, um, I'm on bronze level four, silver level one, gold level one, and I have not gotten Sapphire yet. And then you need to get prerequisites. Um, you need to unlock badges for these two to unlock. I don't remember what they're called. Um, I think one of them's Emerald um, and one of them's Ruby. I could be wrong though. But yeah, I'll show you on my on my old account on my phone because I have the first ones. Yeah, there we go. So starting off, you just need a thousand Kakura to get bronze level one and you'll get plus one wish list slot. So whatever your wish list is at, whatever however many characters you can wish, it'll go up by one. Um, for silver silver one, you unlock it and you'll get twenty five percent chance to spawn that character and then gold one you'll get minus 10 percent cockroach power usage and i'll go ahead and look at that as well in dollar sign um oops wrong one in dollar sign tu on my old account see how it says right here that each cockroach reaction consumes 100 percent of reaction power and whenever i do it it says 90%. It's because I got that one badge, and so now it doesn't take all my power, so my react to Kakura comes back quicker than my old account. So the main function of Kakura is for these badges, and um, if you want to access these badges, you just have to do dollar sign and then add the name, so bronze for dollar sign bronze. Um, I can press yes, but it won't do anything. Because I already reached the max bronze level, but if you, if say I had um, 6,000 Kakura, which I do not have, um, I can do dollar sign um, silver, and I would be able to melt all my Kakura into getting the second silver level, which would increase my wish to spawn chance by t another fur a further 25%. So that is the basic rundown of what Kakara is and what it does. Um, and then we're going to move on to Pokemon catching. Now this one's a little bit simpler and it'll go by a little bit quicker. Um, 
for the Pokemon catching channel. It is different from the Pokemon channel. This is just where we're going to talk about Pokemon and discuss how much we like Pokemon, whatever. But this is just for specifically catching Pokemon. Now the command to catch a Pokemon is dollar sign Pokemon or dollar sign P. And so you do dollar sign P and then a little roulette thing will come out and there are like five five stages and it'll have like differing um, like rarity of Pokemon that will show up. And so I just won seal um, from my dollar sign P and you can do this every two hours and it resets on yeah, so like at 2 p.m. I'll be able to do dollar and P again, and then after that I'll have to wait till 4 p.m. and then 6 p.m. and then further on. Um, so that's how you actually get Pokemon, and then you can check your Pokédex by doing Pokédex or PD, and it'll give you a big list of all the Pokemon that you have. Now I have um, 228 and I can just scroll through these are the Pokemon that I have awesome looks good now as you can see right here it says Shinx times two now what that means is that I've caught more than one Shinx that whenever I do dollar sign P I've actually gotten a Shinx more than one time so what I can do is do the command dollar sign auto release and this command will get rid of every single duplicate Pokemon that I have that I do not need. And it will give me extra Poke Rolls. So four Pokemon, I had four extra Pokemon that were duplicates. And so I give it to the Rocket Casino in exchange for two Poke Rolls. And I have 2.5 store, which means that I've given five Pokemon away. And every Pokemon that is an extra that you give away by using Dollar and Auto Release will turn into a half of a Poke Roll. So I actually can do since it says 2.5 stored, I can actually do dollar sign P two more times. And so there's the Pokemon that I got. I just got an Ekans and a Wurmple. I can then do, when I'm looking at my Pokédex, um, these are the Pokemon that show up in the front of the list, um, but I've chosen them to do that way, and I can show you guys how to do that right now. Now, if you want to change what Pokemon appear in what order, you can do dollar sign sort Pokemon, P-K-M-N, and it'll come up right here. You can sort your Pokemon automatically with sort Pokemon double, put the doubles first. Um, Pokemon ID, sort by Pokemon ID. Um, so whichever Pokemon comes first from the Pokédex. Um, Pokemon rare, put the most rare Pokemon first. Um, Pokemon ABC, alphabetical order, or shiny, shinies first. Um, I did a custom, so I put dollar sign Pokemon, sort Pokemon, I'll do that right now, sort Pokemon, and I guess you don't need to put the N, the N at the end, you can just do PKM, um, and then after that you do a space, and then list your Pokemon, so if I wanted my first Pokemon to be Teddy Ursa, I would do Teddy Ursa, and then so on and so forth until I'm done, you do not have to put ev like every Pokemon that you have 228, you can just say, like, if I want Teddy Ursa to be first, if I want Ekans to be second, and I want um, Purloin, Purloin to be third. And see right here, my Purloin is actually a shiny Purloin. And so what you do with a shiny is you put an S at the end of it. And so if I did this correctly, I did that, I can go back to my Pokédex. And it'll show up that my Ted Yersa shows up first, my Ekans is second, and my Shiny Purloin is third. So those are all the basic commands for Pokemon and the basic features of the Kakara. Um, I'll make one more video about the Zero Two Bot and how to use it. But yeah, the Pokemon catching feature and the Kakara feature is all part of the um, Mude Marriage Bot. So. That is basically what you have to do. And again, if you guys need any help, dollar sign help, they'll send you an email to Mude. You can look through there. It's got all the Pokemon stuff, it's got all the Cockro stuff, and it's got all the Marriage Bot stuff. So anything you need to know will be there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and have a good day.